Welcome to a Traceable Live instructional video for the Traceable Live Wi-Fi data logging thermometer with remote notification. In this video, we'll be following the quick start guide that came included with your Traceable Live device. Just like the quick start guide, we're going to divide this video into eight small sections. If you already completed some of the steps and want to skip to the lesson you need help with, go ahead and click on the box you need help with. This will automatically forward the video to the lesson you need. Otherwise, we'll begin on step one in just a few moments. Let's get started. Step one, create account. For this step, we'll first need to create an account at www.traceablelive.com. This can be done on any browser, on any of your personal devices, but we recommend a computer as the keyboard will make typing much easier. With that in mind, go ahead and click on the link here. This will automatically direct you to traceablelive.com. Once you're there, click on new account. Step two. Enter account slash user information. Most of step two is pretty straightforward as it's mostly filling in your required information. But to get a better understanding of step two, I do want to explain subscription, add-on, and password in greater detail. Let's begin with subscription. Traceable Live offers the convenience of choosing between an annual subscription or a monthly subscription for your Traceable Live devices. For the best value, we recommend an annual subscription. For nine or fewer devices, each device will cost $8.99 monthly or $100 annually to have connected to the Traceable Live service. For 10 or more devices, each device will cost $7.20 monthly or $80 annually to have connected to the Traceable Live service. With either option, choosing an annual subscription will be the best value for your money and the most convenient as you only have to pay once a year. Next is add-ons. Add-ons are optional, extra features you can add to your account to enhance your Traceable Live service. Choosing the SMS add-on will allow you to receive text message notifications straight to your phone for your Traceable Live devices. Enabling SMS is only $2 more for each Traceable Live device. If you prefer not to have SMS enabled, be sure to have this button unfilled before you continue. And last but not least, password. To keep your account as secure as possible, Traceable Live requires a password with at least one number and one special character. Be sure to do this when entering a password or you'll be asked to fix this before continuing. Once you're done, go ahead and click register and your account will be created. Step three, enter payment information. For this step, you'll need to enter your credit card information. This credit card will be used when you begin to add traceable live devices to your account. At this time, no charges are being made as we aren't adding devices. When you arrive to step eight, we'll go through the steps on adding a device and there we'll explain what charges will happen at that time. Step four, begin Wi-Fi setup. For this step, you're going to need your Traceable Live device in front of you and ready to use. Be sure to have your probes plugged in and your battery inserted before you get started. If your display is turned on like my device here, you're ready to go. The first thing we'll do is press and hold the Wi-Fi button located here until AP appears on your screen. Once AP appears, let go of the Wi-Fi button. Now, wait for 5 seconds and then tap the Wi-Fi button once more. Your screen should say AP ready. If your screen says AP wait, wait a few seconds and your screen will automatically change to ready shortly. Now that your screen says AP ready, take out your smartphone and let's move on to step five. Step five, connect unit to Wi-Fi network with your mobile device. In this step, you're going to need your smartphone and your traceable live device. The first step is to open the settings section on your smartphone. Most phones have the setting icon on their phone look like a gear like these. Here are a few icons for the most popular smartphones today to help you find your icon. Once you find it, tap with your finger to enter settings. Next, look for the word Wi-Fi on your list of choices. Tap on the word Wi-Fi and you'll enter your Wi-Fi settings. Here, you should see a list of your available Wi-Fi networks. If you don't see any networks, ensure that your Wi-Fi is turned on by sliding the switch towards the top to on. This should then show your networks. For our next step, we're going to connect our smartphone to our device. To do this, grab your Traceable Live device and look on the back for a small blue sticker. This sticker will tell you the part number and the serial number for your device. We'll use this information to be sure we connect to the correct network. 
using the part number located towards the top of the blue sticker. And the last four digits of the serial number will connect to the correct Wi-Fi network. As you can see here, my part number is 6500. And the last four numbers of my serial number are 0013. Using this information, I have determined that this is my correct Wi-Fi network. Once you discover yours, go ahead and tap on the network name. Once you've done this, you're connected. Now, let's move on to step six. Step six, open web browser on your mobile phone. For this step, we'll need to find your web browser. For Android devices, your default browser included with your phone is Google Chrome. But it can also contain Firefox or one that simply says browser. Look for one of these if you have an Android device. If you have an iPhone, more than likely you will have Safari and the icon looks like this. Once you find your browser, tap the icon and you'll open your browser. At the top, you'll see a large rectangle where you enter URLs. Tap this box and then type in 192.168.1.1 and then press enter or go. Once you do that, the Traceable Life Setup screen will appear. On this screen, we'll start with tapping on Please Select to the right of a network name. On this list, you'll need to find the network that you'd like your Traceable Live device to stay connected to. Once you find the network, tap on it to select it. Next, go to Network Password and on the empty box to the right, type in your network password. Don't click Add just yet once you're done. Let's move on to Step 7 first. Step 7. Add and confirm device. For this step, have your Traceable Live device in view and your smartphone in hand. Now, press the Add button on your browser once. When you do this, your browser will display an error and disconnect from the Wi-Fi we chose on Step 5. This is normal. At the same time, your Traceable Live device will restart and not show AP Ready anymore. Instead, it will be blank for a few seconds and then display temperature numbers will appear. If this happens, then your device has connected successfully. If your Traceable Live device displays ERR, this means an error has occurred. The error has most likely occurred because of an incorrect password on your Wi-Fi network. Ensure you have the correct password on hand and try steps 4 through 7 once more. Step 8. Enter device information. For our last step, we'll need to connect your device to your account. For this step, we also recommend a computer as there will be a bit of typing. Go to traceablelive.com or click on the link in this video. Once you're there, enter your email for your username and then your password then click Login. On your screen, you should see an Add Device button. Clicking here will bring you to a screen that lets you know your previous recurring charges, new recurring charges, and what's due today. Click on Add Device button to continue. Now, on this screen, we're going to enter the information about your device. For device name, choose a name specific to what your Traceable Live device will be assigned to do. This will make it easier to distinguish between other devices. Here are a few examples. Vaccine thermometer, third floor. Large water bath monitor. Freezer monitor number one, and so on. For the next two fields, serial number and device key, you'll need to refer to the small blue sticker located on the back of your traceable live device. Type the number found after S slash N on your blue sticker in the serial number field. Then for device key, enter the numbers to the right of the word key on your blue sticker. For location, this field will be a drop-down containing your locations. For now, it should say Location 1. Use this option for now. You can change it after you've added your device by clicking on Locations. Clicking on Location 1. And then going to the settings towards the top. Next is Description. Description is an optional field. Feel free to be even more descriptive about your device in this area. Moving forward, the next field is Channel 1. Here is where you'll set your low alarm and high alarm in Celsius for your probe 1. To clarify, low and high alarms are parameters that you set and that you wish your monitoring environment to stay within. If at any time the environment you're monitoring falls below your low alarm or exceeds your high alarm, your Traceable Live device will send you an email, mobile push, or text message notifications to alert you of the situation. Once you're done setting your channel 1 alarms, go ahead and insert your channel 2 alarms as well. Last but not least, we have logging interval. 
Logging interval is how often your Traceable Live devices will send what it is recording to the Traceable Live cloud. The smaller the interval, the more information you'll send and receive, but your battery life will diminish much more quickly. By choosing a larger interval, less data is being sent, but your battery life on your device will last much longer. Once you've made your choice, click on Add and you're all finished. If you have any more devices to connect, just follow steps 4 through 8. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this video helped you connect your device successfully.